Help Me Ducks, it's Simon here. Welcome back to the Hermit's Cave. I hope everybody is having a great week. I'm starting to notice little bits of wax everywhere. But when I blow my candles out, I need to be careful of that because I've got a couple of decks uh, behind them. Anyway, that aside, the reason why I'm here today is because I received a package that I knew was coming. It's from my big sis, my lovely plum um Giselle from the channel Mad Witch. Now if you haven't seen Giselle's channel there'll be a link in the description below but she makes the most beautiful beautiful detailed products. Um, this one is a spread cloth that she did for me for Christmas around Christmas times. So there's some trees, there's a snowman, this beautiful moon, the hand stitching and uh, I think they call it free stitching as well. I think that's what it's called. I'm, as you can probably assume, <laughs> I'm not a stitcher or a sewer or anything of any description. Uh, but they're all of this Mad Witch um, design. And this was absolutely beautiful and I used it over the winter period. I've just turned it over at the moment. Um, before that, I had this gorgeous uh, autumn one. I've got it upside down with these little fairy trees with the doorway. Again, absolutely beautiful. Just the sti even inside all the leaves are these little gold threads and everything. The amount of hours and work that go into these and the Mad Witch is resting against a tree here with a little broom. Again, beautifully. The quilted and just gorgeous, so you can use them either side. I have got a, a Mardi Gras type one as well, which is on my little space in the bedroom at the moment. Um, so I haven't bought that one through, but also um, she does these gorgeous bags. Um, one that I bought, one that has been gifted. This was the first one uh, I ever had and I just love it. All these little charms, there's a skull, a sun. And this one is where I put my soul cards that um, we turn into a tarot deck within the community. And it was Giselle's video that I saw that gave me the idea for this. So I had to um, put them in here. Look at this little hand as well, this skeleton's hand. So that fits perfectly in there. And then this one is one that I purchased last year, um, about just before Christmas, I think, which has this beautiful, look at this. And this one has my, I was going to say the Hudes Tarot. It's not the Hudes Tarot. It's the, um, <laughs> it's gone right out of my head, Handle Tarot. Um, and again, this reminds me of Giselle because she did a fascinating and detailed walkthrough of this deck. And it's one that I've seen over the years and never, uh, it's never really appealed to me. Um, but I bought it in Glastonbury when I went with Sandra in November and this fits perfectly and again because it's it's linked to my my big sis I mean just look at the the work that goes into these just stunning so anyway I commissioned um, from Giselle and I think it's really important to point out that the, and I've not seen it in person, obviously yet, um, but Giselle puts things into her shop. And again, that will be linked in the description below. But if you want commission pieces, then just contact her and see if that's available. I know that she's been working tirelessly um, to get things done for people. I don't know what her, uh, her situation is with her spoons how much she's got to give um because we all have our capacity but always check with her the smell from this bag is incredible the smell of lavender and that's because of this little uh sewn pouch that she's put in oh which smells amazing that is going under my pillow she said you can put it in a drawer in your bag um i could put it in my work bag but Lavender always reminds me of sleep and the bedroom. I do have an oil burner um, in there that has some uh, essential lavender oil in there. If 
for those nights where I can't sleep. And I also have some lavender spray. I don't know if you remember when I went to York last year and I went into the, uh, oh, I can't remember what it was called, something of the alchemists to do with alchemy. Um, and they've got some lavender scent in there as well, which I purchased to spray in the bedroom and on the uh, fabric, you know, in, in of the quilt and pillows and things like that. You, you can spray it onto fabric. But that smells gorgeous. And this is lavender that Giselle brew herself in her garden. So, oh, that's, I wish you could smell what I smell. I think this is the soap. She said she saw some soap and thought of me. So she wanted to, oh, cinnamon and orange. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, she's so kind. These are extras that she's put in. I only bought the cloth that um, we agreed on. And she's put these little extras in. I, I know I shouldn't, I should probably open this off camera because it's a bar of soap, but I want to smell it. But I, I hate tearing through beautiful wrapped paper as well. Oh gosh, that is amazing. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> oh, Giselle, thank you. Um, I'm not sure what this is, but it's cute. Oh, it's an Easter. Is it an Easter chocolate? Um, I have soap and all sorts all over me. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, and I've got the smell of the soap in my nose. House of Dorchester. Look at this. So lovely. Yeah, that's a little little chocolate. But look at how beautiful that is. Hopefully you can see it under the light. These little chicks. A joyful Easter, it says. House of Dorchester. Thank you. Um Lil Bro. <laughs> Just to say, um, uh, okay, she's just giving some little instructions and just saying uh, thank you. Um, what's this? Let's see what this is. Pop in your airing cupboard or drawers or in the bathroom. Now that, that I believe was for the, um, either the soap or the lavender, because this is a little experiment. And uh, Giselle contacted me last night on WhatsApp, just to say, in case you're wondering why I put this in. So you've seen the beautiful detailed work that goes into these uh, pouches. Um, and Giselle was saying she wanted us to explore kind of like options that are cheaper. So she's been uh, printing, oh, look at that, love it. Um, she said these will retail a lot, lot cheaper. I'm not going to specify a price that she mentioned because, you know, she's um, she's not um, listed any yet and she, she'll she decide what she, what she feels is appropriate. But these are just uh, drawstring bags, but with her artwork on them. So here we've got the Mad Witch uh, flying around the house. We've got the broom again. It says Mad Witch 22. So this is a couple of years old, this artwork. And she's having them printed onto uh, onto bags, and I think that's a brilliant, brilliant idea. I love it, and it's come out really clear actually. Uh, I take it it must be like a transfer that's kind of ironed on. I'm assuming, uh, but they've just been playing around just for some ideas to put things into the shop, and I love it. Absolutely love it. Now this piece, so. Um, as I mentioned, with the spread cloths that I've got, I've got um, the one that I used through last summer, which is the beautiful uh, kind of like a burnt sienna, like a coppery orange colour, which reminds me of like hot sun. Um, I've got the Easter, uh, sorry, the autumn cloth. I've got the Christmas cloth. And I wanted something for kind of the springtime going into summer so I can alternate my cloths throughout the year. And... As you know, I, I go to Glastonbury every year. I love going to Glastonbury. We'll be going again 
in October this year. And Giselle mentioned at some point last year that she was thinking about making a spread cloth with the Glastonbury tour. And I just said, look, if you do that, and no pressure, but if you do do that, do do, Simon said do do, um, I will commission a piece because that would be a dream to have a spread cloth. I'm surprised there, there aren't out there when you go to Glastonbury. I've got a Chalice Well uh, bag, uh, as in a bag to put cards in, um, but you know, I've never seen any spread cloths. And she said she would, um, she would create one. And this is what she's created. I'm going to show you the back first. So we've got this beautiful, again, these can be used, you know, all year round using the reverses because she uses the most lovely fabrics with these great designs on. This is very bright, very colourful, lovely for this time of year as we're going into spring and the warmer months. But are you ready? Let me push back, push back the candles and things just to give this plenty of room. Let's move my little uh, Winabit Goddess uh, to one side. So it fits on, you get to see the whole, the whole thing. Are you ready? <laughs> Isn't that just the most beautiful thing? And Giselle said to me, I think that you will like it even more in real life, in person. And she's absolutely right because she showed me this on video, but the, the colors are just incredible. Now, Giselle said that this to date is her a, her favourite piece that she's, that she's ever made, and B, the one that has probably taken her the longest amount of time. And that is because of all the individual, tiny and intricate little stitches that have, that have gone into this to create all these uh, so lifelike petals. I mean, look at, look at this, the, the, the detailing here is incredible. I'll try and zoom down as well, uh, just so you can get a, a closer look, but absolutely beautiful. And we've got the tour here. We've got this either setting sun or rising sun um, and St. Michael's Tower at the top, but these beautiful, beautiful flowers. It really is stunning. And just the the stitching, I think this is what she calls the kind of free motion uh, stitching. I cannot, cannot get over uh, the detail. I'm just gonna bring the camera down a little bit. Just so you can see what I'm talking about. I mean, just look at this. The hours and hours of work that has gone into this. We've got these little uh, buttons and all of her buttons are vintage buttons, making these flowers here just beautiful look, look at the, oops look at the daisies absolutely gorgeous really I'm, I'm speechless i just cannot get over how gorgeous this is so i mean giselle also said that yes it can be used as a spread cloth uh, but also you know it would make a beautiful hanging or uh, an altar piece and I can really really see that um, the quality I can't begin to tell you it's just wonderful what talent what absolute talent um, I mean I'm gonna have it out on my on my space um, because you know I, I think having cards laid on it would be fine um but if not you know i could i could turn it over um and and use the the reverse for um 
for the cards and then have it turned over in the day because this kind of is a sacred space for me. When you walk in my front room, this area is the first thing you see. You see my candles and my crystals and my reading space. Um, so I think it would be absolutely fine. I tend not to do more than uh, three cards at a time anyway. Um, I'm just trying to get the light so it doesn't uh, doesn't blur to uh, brighten too much, but I can't. Um, but you know, I could easily you could get quite a decent amount of cards on here, probably ten cards. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Um. But yeah, and if I if I wanted to, like I say, I could turn it over for card readings. And again, lay the cards down like this. Oh, perfect. Giselle, I can I'm I'm so grateful because we negotiated a price which is between myself and and Giselle um, and you know I recognize the amount of hours that has gone into creating this it's absolutely stunning it's one of the most beautiful things I have in my home so thank you thank you for creating this for me and I know that you made this with me in mind so that makes it even even more special um, yeah love you to bits thank you and for everybody watching do check out Giselle's shop um in one way i want her to be <laughs> flooded with requests but in another then just to say please also you know realize she's one person and creating things like these like this doesn't happen overnight it takes time uh lots of time hours and hours of time uh, so be mindful of that as well. Thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time, go in peace. Namaste and blessed be. Mm -hmm.